Okay, so you have elements of Excel formulas. In here, you always have to start a formula with an equal sign. If you do not, it has no idea what you're trying to tell it to do. Um, so the equal sign tells Excel to perform a calculation. You have constants, which are numbers and text that do not change unless manually changed. And so if I had something where I was going to multiply um, that each one of these on this Excel sheet, I was going to multiply each one of those by this tax rate. So even though the, this number is changing for a desktop, for a phone, for a tablet, for a smart TV, the tax rate is staying the same. So that is going to be my constant um, when we do those formulas. Okay, you have references, and these are use of cell or range from a cell to use in calculations. Um, so your references are going to be what you're actually referencing that you want to add. Okay, and then your mathematical operation, obviously what you want to specify. Do you want to add, subtract, divide, multiply? What exactly are you wanting to do with that information? Okay, so then you have elements of the Excel formula. So here's your equal sign. Here is your reference. Okay, so my reference is going to probably be B2. Okay, that's going to be my reference. My constant is going to be 8%. Okay, this constant is showing that it's 100, so even though that the A1 is going to change, so A1, A2, A3, all of those are still going to be added to the 100. Okay, and then this is the operator, so this is telling us that we are adding. And then, of course, your order of operations. Um, some of you may remember from back in the day or even recently how you do please excuse my dear Aunt Sally for the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So you have to go in that order when you're going through the order of operations um, in order to make sure that all of that is correct um, and that your um, answer is correct based off of what you do first on your order of operations. Okay, so your highest precedence is going to be your parentheses, so we would do A2 plus B2, and then whatever that is, we are going to um, take that to the exponent to the second power. Okay, so that's our second highest precedence. And then after we do that, we are going to multiply that, the 10 times the C2, and then our lowest precedent is subtraction. So that would be our order of operation of the parentheses, exponent, multiplication, subtraction, from highest to lowest. Okay, so your reference and your operators. Your comma, this is what is going to tell Excel what to exclude in the series of references. So if I have A1, comma, A2, comma, B1, comma, B2. So that means I'm not going to go from A1 all the way to B2, um, and include everything that's in between. That comma is going to tell me what specifically I want in that particular reference in that formula. Okay, your colon is used to do a range operator. So if you want to tell it what to include, we would go A25 colon F25. So that would take everything that you wanted to do um, in between those two, two cell references. And then you have a space, okay? So this tells Excel to look for a value in a cell where two ranges intersect. So you have your A9 colon, J9 colon, space, okay? So where are we going to intersect at in between A9 and J9 and E2 and E22? It'll make sense in just a minute. We will definitely go through this, okay? So... On your reference of operators, this is where your adding comes in at. So if I wanted to do equals and then sum, and then I wanted to do B2, sorry, have to have parentheses, B2, okay, and then I do colon, Okay, so I'm not going to sit there and go B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5 plus B6. I want to go B2 colon and then B6 and then close my parentheses. This tells me that I'm adding all of that together. Okay, same answer. So you can see that the different ways that you can do that 
um, it'll look for those answers um, when you have them in there. Okay, so this is where your intersection of operator goes. So this is that space that they were talking about, the A9 colon J9. Okay, so you will see that you have A9 here all the way over here to J9. Okay, and then you have a space because you have E2 all the way down to E22. Okay, so you want to know where this is going to intersect at the operations and where like your where the middle of everything is. And so that's going to be right here and it looks like it's going to be at E and then 9. Okay, so that's going to be where your intersect of operations is at. Okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. We have our cell sheet here and we have that we want to multiply our tax rate by each one of these particular things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a total and that is going to be my column here because this is where I want my total tax rate to be. Okay, so this is cells before tax. Okay. And then this is going to be sales after tax and then sales with tax. Okay, so I want my B2 to be multiplied by my B9. So it's a formula, so we're going to start it out here and we are going to go B2 times B9. Okay, so both of those are highlighted now. So the 55,350 times 8% and then I hit enter and it's going to be 4,428. Okay, so that's my tax rate on that. Now, I do not have to put that formula in for each one of those particular numbers for phone, tablet, smart TV, and VRHMD. Okay, so now I have my formula in here. It's on B2. Okay, so that is going to be my one and then my B9 that is going to be my constant. So that's my reference and my constant. Okay, so here I need equals and I need B2 times B9. Oop, I'm sorry. I need, so I messed up on that formula. I can double click, okay, and I can take this part out for B2 and go B3, that's what I really want, okay times B9 and then hit enter. Okay, and then I want B, whoops, start that out with an equal sign. I want B4 times B9. Okay, so that's taking the tablet times the 8%. And then I want B5 If ever you don't know why your formula is not working, make sure that equal sign is there because if you don't have things highlighted on your screen, then it is probably because you don't have an equal sign in front of it to state that you want a formula done. Okay, and then B6. B9. Okay, so those are all of my totals. So here's my formulas. You can see them up in the formula bar here. So each time that I move down, you can see that the constant or the reference changes, but the constant stays the same of B9 because everything's getting multiplied by your taxes. Okay, so these are cells before taxes. So these are all my cells. So I'm actually just going to use the auto sum button because that's the easiest one. Okay, I do not want this blank one to be included. So all I'm going to do is simply take my um, arrows and I'm going to move that up out of that cell. Well, I say that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Elizabeth, can you cancel that last part for me, please? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cell and I'm going to do an auto sum. Okay, so on my auto sum for my cells before tax, I do not want this B7 to be included. Okay, so I'm just going to take that 7 out and put 6 
and it will show me that that is all that's going to be included is B2 through B6, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so then you can take this and you can do the same thing. You can do auto sum. I don't want my C7 in there, so I'm going to back that out and go to C6 and hit enter. Anytime that you want your formula to go ahead and um, take place, you just hit enter. Okay, now I want to make sure that this number um, with the sales tax rate is going to be the same as if we add these two together. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to say equals B8 times, now I can either type it in or I can actually click on it. So B8 times B9. Okay, and that did show up the same as that. Okay, so you could easily get your total here and just multiply it by times 8%. I did want you to see the total column if you wanted to add a column in there so that you can understand that it can go all this way or you can just get your total here and then multiply it down here and that is what it states in your formula bar as well.